I know how you feel, kid. You do everything you can for them, and then they betray you. What's up with that? Who designed that entrance? A circus performer? A magician? I don't know. Aren't mortals wonderful? Souls boss fight, here we go. Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Oh, wise oracle, how do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? What's a real question? I don't know. It's a mystery. Well, then, how do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah, another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you, the Oracle. Oh, yes. Well, circling that, I'm just the priest. The Oracle here turned to stone. But the smoke here is something else. <laughs> Do you think sand is called sand because it's between the sea and the land? Uh, have you seen that little guy with golden hair? No? Uh, I'm going to go. What's so funny? You said the go twice, <laughs> but you still haven't left. My brother was turned to stone and I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me, and all you can do is laugh. Whoa! Those are all true. Are you an oracle? <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, on your way out. Can you pick me up something? I'm starving! Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain, huh? crowned with flowing locks, is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind herald's aid, go on the attack. And sooner than later, change them all back. A pair in rough seas, forge fires lit. A wise child convinced, a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown. Hero on high, it's time for you to come home. Whoa. Now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird how prophecy ends with I see? But in this case, I don't? Stop! Thief! You can have... Oh. Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So? We good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. They didn't like my... <sighs> we don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. 
What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. It's in there? I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with the jar. I... Uh, don't understand. You're in grave danger. Help me help you. Uh, okay, but about what you said earlier... And you're gone. Okay, well... Got to figure out how to get past that barrier. Labyrinthine path before Phoenix seemed daunting, but the light of endless stars helped show the way. Guess we now know where Cargo goes to die.
As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, her thoughts turned toward her mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Ford, a huge monster appears! Yeah. It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughed. Yeah. So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything she had prayed for to take her mind off her worries. It was a gift from Olympus she would treasure forever. Deep within her vulnerable yet ever expanding. Ah, fine, have it your way. Just don't make me vomit. Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. This was Aeolus' jar. I thought it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind. That's impossible. The wall is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through.
As Phoenix continued her journey, she couldn't help but wonder if her story would one day be told amongst the stars. Hermes always says, the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Looks like I'll need to solve things to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not a bad night. <laughs>